afternoon, everybody, on this Monday. Thanks for joining us with Dan Spindle. I'm Shara Park. New today on KSL News at Noon, Governor Spencer Cox wants to put nearly $190 million towards fixing our state's homeless problem. Yeah, he made that announcement earlier today. New specialist Mike Anderson was there. Uh, Mike, where would the money go? That's the good question to start off. It's a lot of money. Yeah, certainly a huge chunk of money, uh, Dan and Shara. And Governor Cox is talking about building up the resources really in all areas from prevention to treatment centers like this one here and making what he calls deeply affordable housing much more attainable. Governor Cox is making a big ask in his budget proposal. Um, if you can treat it early, um, then it, it doesn't progress and people can move on and, and get on with their lives. From mental health to shelter beds and more, he says the state of Utah has been treating homelessness wrong for a long time. This is top of mind for so many people who live here. He says we need more resources, a lot more. $128 million would go toward emergency shelter space, nearly $11 million for diversion programs, Eight million for mental health, including more hospital beds, and thirty million for deeply affordable housing, with another ten million to keep that housing affordable for years down the line. We hear it all the time. The citizens are concerned about the the rapid growth of, of homelessness that they're seeing. Uh, they they don't feel safe on our streets, and uh, and yet there's a lot of compassion to want to help people who are struggling. Cox says it's a heavy lift, and unlike any approach we've seen before, this is absolutely brilliant. There's no doubt about it. Pamela Atkinson, longtime homeless advocate and special advisor to the governor, says it's the kind of approach our state needs. Housing is such a problem. Mental illness is such a problem. But so many people out there have these needs and we haven't been able to meet them. And one major ask in all of this, Governor Cox would like to make some adjustments to the uh, licensing uh, requirements for mental health counselors uh, so they can get to work faster after graduation. And he'd also like to offer a bit of loan forgiveness for people going into that field to help with the major shortage of counselors. Guys, back to you. Yeah, the need is great mm -hmm. uh, right now. Yeah, that's great to hear. Mike, thank you for the update.